Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's video, it's been requested since my last um, Ask Blake episode, so I thought I would go ahead and film it for you today. So uh, what today's video will be um, is just like a how I organize my bookshelf uh, in my room um, and kind of like a what's on there and um, kind of get you to see the things that I um, typically like to read, um, the genres and things like that. Um, but on my bookshelf, it's not completely just books. I also keep um, my TV series uh, and DVDs on there as well. So not only will you get to see um, the books that I like to read, but you'll get to see uh, the types of TV shows and movies that I like as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my bookshelf, and I'll just be going through um, all the different levels and just uh, kind of showing you what's on there and what I like to read and what I like to watch as well. So on the top shelf here, um, just kind of basically how I organize my books. Um, I like to keep all the similar authors together, so if an author has more than one book that I have, uh, then I keep those together. But as for um, stacking them according to um, color or um, series and things like that, sometimes it's not always together, so I'll just kind of show you what's on here. So first over here um, in the left-hand corner, I have a few Dan Brown books, um, so The Lost Symbol and Digital Fortress. Um, I haven't read Digital Fortress, um, but I have read uh, The Lost Symbol and I thought it was really good. Uh, the next few books are by Linwood Barclay, and he's a Canadian author that writes uh, really good uh, mystery and suspense uh, adult fiction novels, so um, I have a couple novels uh, of his up there as well. Then I have um, Tina Fey's Bossy Pants um, over there. I haven't got gotten to uh, read that yet. Uh, but I plan on it because uh, she, I think she is uh, a really funny person. Then over here, um, I have uh, a few of the uh, the Devouring series novels um, that I was recommended to read um, by Simon Holt. So I have those. Lockdown, I haven't read that yet. Um, the The Compound, that was a really uh, fun read. And then I have uh, two of the uh, Secret Society novels. Uh, I've read the first one, have not read the second yet. Um, so I have those up there as well. Then I have um, two of the Lion Game uh, series by Sarah Shepard up there. I've read those two. Um, then in back there behind all those books I have, um, I think, the first ten uh, Pretty Little Liars books uh, in the series. And I have read the uh, all of those. So then out front here I just keep my old iPhone boxes and just some uh, random books as well. So I have um, like The Naked Roommate, um, it's like a college survival guide. Um, the Blind Side, I have a few um, camera related books, iPhone books, uh, Shutter Island, things like that. So then you go down here to the second shelf and I just keep um, my little graduation um, picture album I guess there that also has some of my uh, prom pictures from prom day. So then here on the second shelf, I have uh, the Beautiful Creatures series. Um, I haven't, I've started to read the first one. I saw the movie and I thought it was really good. So I thought I would go ahead and uh, pick up the books. So then I have The uh, the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Um, someone recommended to that, that to me as well. Uh, and I haven't got a chance to read that yet. I also have um, Every Day by David Levithan. And Through to You. Uh, Tempest by Julie Cross, The Body Finder, um, Heist Society, Unwind, um, The Caller, that's another mystery book, um, Think of a Number, that's like a murder mystery thing. I have uh, 666 Park Avenue, which is actually a TV show. Um, House at the End of the Street is a, a movie. Uh, the Secret Circle was a TV show, uh, but it was cancelled. Then I have uh, the three Hunger Games books. I've had those for years now, but I never got a chance to read them. I started reading uh, the first one and got kind of bored with it. Uh, but I think after watching the movie, I might pick it up again uh, and see if I like it now. So then I just have a Starbucks cup here, just kind of for decoration. Uh, and then I have just a few more. Um, I have the I Am Number 4. Didn't read that yet. Um, then I have uh, Kathy Reich's book, um, uh, uh, Iris Johansson book, and uh, another one from Amazon. So that basically concludes 
um, the book portion. I've read most of this top shelf here, and, and this shelf here is kind of like my to read uh, for the summer, so I'm definitely going to um, try and read a bit more this summer. So then on this next shelf is where I keep um, my TV series. So I have uh, Pretty Little Liars, 90210, um, Charmed, that was a series that um, ran back in the day, I think from like 1996 or 98 uh, to 2006. Uh, it was a, a, just a show that um, me and my mom watched when I was younger. And I just thought I'd buy the series, so I have those. Um, I also have uh, The Mentalist, uh, Numbers, Dexter, um, Bones, and then it continues on to this shelf. So just like I said, um, I kind of like to keep the series together, if possible, so um, that's how I kind of organize this part. So then continuing, I have um, some more of the uh, Bones series on there. And then I have Revenge, uh, Breaking Bad, Supernatural, uh, The Vampire Diaries, uh, The Firm, No Ordinary Family, uh, Fringe, I really do enjoy Fringe, uh, the fifth season just came out so I'm on that right now, uh, Suits, that's a really good show as well, um, Law and Order, I have one season of that, uh, The O.C., it's another old one um, that uh, I just thought I'd pick up the series to rewatch once in a while. Uh, then I have Flash Forward, that was a really good TV show, but they cancelled it. Uh, I have one season of Glee, uh, 30 Rock, Kathy Griffin, uh, the comedian. I have a couple of her uh, DVDs, and I have uh, also On 24. the bottom shelf, it's kind of hard to see. Um, this one is packed, like, two, so like on here, there's just, like, one... Uh, one set of books, but then or one set of of DVDs, and then on the bottom shelf, though, I also have this portion filled with DVDs as well. So it's kind of hard to see um, what's back there. Um, but I have uh, some more Kathy Griffin things. Um, I have a few seasons of True Blood, uh, The Social Network, The Big Bang Theory, um, and then just some uh, movies uh, down here. Uh, Red Eye, I really like that movie. Firewall, The Stepfather, The Glass House. Um, another old series, uh, Malcolm in the Middle, some of you probably remember that, uh, just a few other movies as well, The Change Up, um, Baby Mama, Bring Down the House, Untraceable, and that's about it. Also, um, in back there, I also have, um, most of the series, I think the first five or six, um, series of House, so I have that back there as well. I also have, um, heroes and a bunch of different series like that. So that is basically how I organize uh, my bookshelf. Um, I'm always adding to it and uh, taking things out and changing them. Um, and you might have seen these on here. Uh, this is just like a digital photo frame that I just keep um, down there. And I just uh, have my new camera box sitting on the shelf as well. So that is basically it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you uh, learned some new things about me. Uh, maybe we have some similar interests in the uh, types of books we like to read or TV shows we like to watch. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have uh, read or watched any of these uh, books or movies or TV series. I'd love to uh, see what uh, all my viewers are watching. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.